Well, this is the place. So this is where you go in to pay the admission fee. So for the record, the cabin we'll be looking at is a replica. It is not the original cabin that the Ingalls actually lived in. So this log cabin was built to resemble the cabin that the Ingalls lived in during their brief time here in Kansas. And of course, the book about their time here is the actual one titled Little House on the Prairie in the Little House on the Prairie series. The lighting's probably not going to be the best here, but here are some shots from inside the cabin. Little fireplace. Dining room table. Hard to imagine a family of four or five living in here. This would be about the most annoying part for me living in this place would be this pole across. I don't really remember this from prior visits, but it has been a long time since I've been up here and seen the cabin on the inside. How do you like these homemade chairs? This rope latch was apparently left open by Pa Ingalls whenever they left the property so that if somebody else came by, they could use the cabin. There are some things to see here besides the cabin itself. These old wagons. A post office building and an old school building. Looks like they also got a few purple martin bird houses. All right, I'll respect your request. Thank you. Yeah, I wonder if this is how they would have parked outside the cabin years ago. Maybe so. This post office was from the historic town of Wayside. It was moved here after it closed in 1977. 1977 was when it closed. Zip code for Wayside is 67366. I still remember the zip code for Independence, Kansas, the city. 67301 I'm inside the old post office now Check out that old stove And that old telephone Look at these old-fashioned P.O. boxes. And they got a portrait of Abe Lincoln in here. 
and a fire extinguisher. That's something modern you have to have. Sunnyside School. It was moved here by Bill and Wilma Curtis, the founders of the museum. Bill and Wilma Curtis, those were the parents of Bill Curtis. Take a look at these old desks and the old blackboard, old piano. Got portraits of George Washington and Abe Lincoln on the wall. Not too shabby. If you hear an echo, that's probably from the fan in the background. They have a fan going in here. This definitely keeps it a little cooler. Oh, here's the school stove. I guess they might have used that for heat during the winter. Or something. Lillian Jones Horton taught for one year at the Sunnyside Schoolhouse. The salary was $25 per month. Lillian's daughter and son-in-law, Wilma and William Curtis Sr., purchased Sunnyside School and moved it to this location to preserve our history for future generations. The padlock is obviously a modern add-on. Looks like the old hand-dug well has been capped. Old hitching post at the little house on the prairie site. If you like quilting, you might enjoy looking at this barn quilt pattern on the old barn. This is right next to the little house on the prairie. 